Hi boys and girls, auntie and uncle, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is CK and my channel is Ecology, where I bring you around the world to eat, see and explore. And today I am in a very special temple just outside of Batu Pahat. This is Chonglong Gong Temple. This temple is dedicated to the deity of Matsu. Matsu is the deity for fishermen. She protects fishermen going out to sea and bless them with great weather so that they can come back safely from the sea. Honglong Gong Temple is also very famous for all sorts of deity, including the shrimp deity and of course the dragon sea deity. All of them protects fishermen going out to sea. Legend has it, if you rub the dragon fish who lived here in Chonglong Gong, you will have many, many fortune, good fortune coming to you. And I just did that. So I'm gonna sit back and wait to win the lottery from now on. <laughs> now, if there is a award called the most blessed town in Malaysia, it would have to be Batu Pahat because of the geography of Batu Pahat. Batu Pahat has a abundant of resources from the sea, the Straits of Malacca, the river of Batu Pahat, and also the soil around Batu Pahat, which is said to be the most fertile here in Malaysia. Batu Pahat name allegedly comes from a well. The name Batu means rock and Pahat means hacking. A legend has it the Siamese military in the 1500 was trying to conquer Malacca and they couldn't do that so they have to camp somewhere else momentarily to wait for their opportunity. They camp at a beach nearby here in Batu Pahat. And what do they do? They need water so they started hacking the stone, the rock around the beach to create the well. That is where Batu Pahat gets its name from. The well is still here just right outside of Batu Pahat. It is home to some of the most famous Chinese Malaysian politician in the land, including Mr. Lim Kik Siang. Now we call him Uncle Lim. And Mr. Lim Kik Siang has been active in politics throughout his career. He has just been given the title Tan Sri, which is I think one of the highest title you can bestow on a civilian to his lifelong dedication to politics. Another famous politician is Tio Ni Chin. Now she is the most famous, most prominent Chinese female politician here in Malaysia and they are both from Batu Pahat. Today I am bringing you around Batu Pahat. Batu Pahat has long been in my list for such a long time. Many of my friends are from Batu Pahat. Cannot wait to explore it. So let's go. Where did all the times go? When did they all pass by? How did I get so lost in a blink of an eye gone? You were just here by my side, everything was nice now I take it, it's all over now Damn, I gotta move on Away from my comfort zone Yeah, I gotta stay strong Even if my wounds open and show Yeah, I gotta live on for the present Know that everything will be okay Just fine, everything will be alright Finally, the rain stopped and I can finally record. It was pouring rain because I'm in the hawker center. Sound is really deafening. And finally, I can talk and I can chew. So the sun is barely up and this is my first meal because behind me is the legendary economic Nihun stall here in Batu Pahat. The locals here eat it every single morning. They started around 6 and they sold off like around 8 in the morning. So I have to come here very, very early for this special Nihun. This is something very special. They have fish cake, they have tofu, they have the egg. Mm. Mm. So the specialty about this Nihun is the spicy sauce that they put on top. Spicy gravy or soup, something like that. That's their ingredient secret. Mmm, pretty, pretty good. 
And the crowd was just like non-stop in the store. And I heard they are so successful that they have branches all over Batu Pahat. Ordinary breakfast, but really, really yummy. Mm. What if for over 35 years, you've been honing for one skill and one skill only? Now this uncle has been doing exactly just that for over 35 years, cooking the famous Batu Pahat Roti Janai. The line is long. I mean, I've never waited for so long for a Roti Janai. This is about a half an hour wait. Mm. Mm. A good roti janai is when it's super chewy and super fried and panned to perfection. And this is a perfect roti janai. I've been sitting here for half an hour. You look at how fast uncle has to make these and you can guess how good the business is. There is also no location and no names. But if you find it in Google, it says Chinese roti janai. And this is it. Mm. Oh my god. If there's a one-stop place for the people of Batu Pahat to have breakfast, it is right here at Han Ki. It's only about 7.45, 7.50, but the whole place is already packed. Lucky I am to get the last seat, even though I have to sit outside, I don't mind. The coffee at Han Ki is absolutely superb. And so thick and... Mm, so thick, one sip, I'm awake. I am really here for the Han Ki hamburger. This is the hamburger of Batu Pahat. It has ota ota and eggs and something laced with chili sauce, chili sauce it. Mmm. 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 I think the egg. Oh, the egg is really fried to perfection. Really easy to eat. And this is the hamburger of Pato Pahat. I came here yesterday and the place was fully packed. I have to come back again the next day. I am here being the first customer today at Asam Pedas Tamba. This is a legendary store selling Asam Pedas because we are in Johor and Johor are famous for Asam Pedas soup. It literally means sour, spicy. Oh my god. Super, super spicy. If you don't like spicy food, don't come here. I've ordered the stingray. Most people would order the tilapia. People from all over Johor comes here for the asam pedas. Legendary, and I can see why. The owner, um, the person who created this recipe, he started out as a tri show driver. So when you are in Batu Pahat, asam pedas tamba, is the place to go. One of the must-eat food here in Batu Pahat is Asu Wantan Mi. Now, Asu Wantan Mi has been operating since three generations passing down this recipe by the Chang family and they are many of the memories of the people here in Batu Pahat. Uh, ever since I sat in this seat, the customers are coming in and out, in and out, non-stop. This really is a stable for the people of Batu Pahat. The interesting thing about the wantami here is its sauce. It is a red sauce wantami. 
which is very much different from the ones we get from Kuala Lumpur or Pimei. Mm. Mm. The noodle is something else. It's, it's harder than all the other wonton mee. It's harder to chew, but I must say the sauce is something different I have never ever tasted. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, okay, okay. It's a chili sauce actually. Not very spicy, but you can taste the chili out of it. So, I would say this is the chili sauce one tummy of Batupaha. Mmm. 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 Really something special. So there are a lot of small temples dotted all over Batu Pahat giving thanks to the deity for giving them this blessed land and I want to bring you particularly to this temple. This temple is called the Four Sea Dragon Temple and there's all sorts of deity here. There's even a crocodile here that people pray to and it's just beside the river of Batu Pahat. But the main attraction is the uncle behind me here. This is Uncle Moon. Now Uncle Moon is the reason why all single people come here to look for their perfect partner. What you have to do is you have to write a piece of note. So this one says, my love life depends on you now, Mr. Moon, Uncle Moon. Couple, wishing them having a happy, happy marriage. So lots and lots of uh, little notes here for Uncle Moon to process and people write their Instagram. And you tie these red string around the bridges leading to Uncle Moon and Uncle Moon will find you your perfect match. Next time you're in Batu Pahat and you are looking for love, do not swipe the apps. Just come to Uncle Moon and he will guarantee to find you your perfect partner. Super in a hurry to get to this Opitiam that I forgot my microphone, so I'm so sorry for all the noises around me. But I'm here at a Kopitiam called Chu Pure, but in English it's practically translated as big cup because they serve gigantic cups of fruit uh, juice here. This is not even the largest size, the largest size are like 30% bigger. But this is what the place is known for. Another thing that Batu Pahar is very known for is Bakuza Kui, which is basically means pancake. Pancake, traditional pancake of Malaysia. They call it Bangzang Kui here and it's my favorite thing to eat after lunch, in the middle of the day, in the middle of a hot day. And in Batu Pahar, it's full of amazing places for Bangzang Kui. But I'm picking this one because they are the most difficult to order. I literally had to order like two hours before they opened. And I got here just in time. They started in midday, noon. And finally I got my bang zang kui. And look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Thick with peanut butter and I must say the flour is something else mm. 
the best is entirely packed with people. It's in a small corner shop, but it's entirely packed with people now, and everybody's waiting for this pancake, which will sold out very, very soon. I. Mm. Oh my god. That's absolutely amazing. This is the taste of Atipahan. I am at Langkawi. Well, not exactly in Langkawi, but this kopitiam is called Langkawi. Langkawi. So it's called Langkawi. And I came all the way out from the city. It's about almost a 20 minutes drive from the city. And here I am because they make legendary nasi lemak. Look at that nasi lemak. Squid and with the fried chicken. Looking so, so amazing. Oh my god. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. I think they just fried this chicken. Mmm. Oh, the rice. I can smell the coconut flavor. Mmm. This nasi lama is to die for. Mmm. Mm. Have you ever heard of a nasi lama? with tofu soup. This is their tofu soup. Boss, bad side of tofu. <laughs> this just complimented the boss. This tofu, wow, tofu ini bad side. Apa recipe? <laughs> Never have I ever tasted tofu Malay style soup together with nasi lemak. Oh my god. Mmm. Soup is very oily, spicy, and I don't know, something with the tofu that is like so soft and so mouth watering. Mm. I really need to slowly, slowly taste this and savor all of this to myself. Langkawi is the name of the place, just a little bit outside Patupahat City. I can't believe it, I made it just in time, just in time and I've got the last seat for my early dinner and Sun Chi is at Kampong Pengawas that's what they told me and look at this kitchen, it is buzzing and I've never seen such a, a credible burst of fire in the kitchen you can really feel the fire bursting out from that kitchen legendary for their pork lot soup. Here you go. That's the amazing pork lot soup. Oh my god. The wok hay is absolutely there. This is incredible. Oh my god. Mm. I cannot even begin to describe the taste. You just have to come to Patapahat, come to Sun Chi. So it's dinner time, but before that, can I say, have, are you enjoying me bringing you all around Batu Pahat to all these incredible places to eat and see? Well, I'm just having a fabulous time here in Batu Pahat, but not ending yet. We still have to have dinner, a proper grand dinner and supper, and the streets are buzzing. I am at Taman Maju. This is Taman Maju in um, Batu Pahat. And this street is really buzzing and really the center ground for great hawker food. I am at Engkok Kopitiam, 
and just come to Ainkokopitiam, you can find it on Google and the whole street here is just opened up to a one gigantic piece of street food here and you can order from the different stall and the restaurant here and all of it put it on your table which I have done my carrot cake and this carrot cake I was watching the uncle frying it oh my god it was so amazing I was watching it I was drooling all over mm. don't forget to tell the uncle with eggs and a little bit of spicy so you bring up the flavor mm. Herbal chicken herbal soup. Now here in Engkok um, Kopitiam, um, they specialize in all sorts of herbal soup. All sorts. They have the black bean herbal soup, the cucumber, and if you're a vegetarian, I think seaweed as well. Mm. Mm. I have eaten many popia in my life, but a seaweed wrap in popia, first time ever, was absolutely amazing. It's like Popia pretending to be sushi or sushi pretending to be a popia. Whatever, this is a great idea. And I think whoever invented this, genius you are. Mmm. Mmm. Mwachi, it's absolutely amazing. It comes from the same store. And they say you must, must try it because it's so good. They have like ses black sesame, and this is the original flavor. They have like a few types of flavor for you to choose from. Mmm. 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 Oh, chewy, full of peanuts. Mmm. The best feast ever in Batu Pahat. What can I say about Batu Pahat? It's one of the most incredible small town in Malaysia that I think exists in the map of Malaysia. It's really the perfect, perfect geography for all these incredible resources for the people of Batu Pahat to enjoy all these incredible food. And the people of Batu Pahat, so super hospitable, um, smiles everywhere I go. One of the friendliest people, one of the friendliest local, I must say. That's my video for Batu Pahat. Oh, finally, I'm here and finally mission done for Batu Pahat. Now you can support my channel by go to buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com and also there are more videos of Johor which is fast becoming one of my favorite states in Malaysia. Just across the causeway too from Singapore. What an amazing state this is. I will always keep coming back to Johor. I have many Johorian friends who bragged about their hometown and I know I now know why. <laughs> Goodbye from Batu Pahat and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!